what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Man, who raised you? Um, I could tell you a few people who raised me. It's almost like um, my mother, first of all, first and foremost, my mom, my dad, the time he was there, you know, we 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 had an incredible family, you know, and I I tell you I was the cause of it breaking up, but that's another conversation. But when that happened, we had to you know fill in, you know, me, my brother, and my sister. Mm -hmm. So my mom and then my uncle kicked in, and I don't know if you ever heard back in the day of a roller skating ring. I know you heard of Harlem World, which was the club, right. it was a hip hop club right. that we had in Harlem. But we also had the roller skating ring that was in Harlem called um, Rooftop Roller Skating Ring. And we also turned that into a label. We signed Kumo D. And we signed uh, Classical 2, Rap's New Generation. And who is and we? And B-Facts, you know, the WAP dance. So oh, wow. I did all of those records. So when we had that, my uncle Willie, who owned Woolly Burgers, like if you've seen Paid in Full and you've seen like Rich and those guys pull up in front of a Woolly uh, Burger shop, that was right. my uncle's. Wow. So he owned that. He owned the after hour spot up the street. He owned the rooftop and he owned a bar. So I performed at all of these places mm -hmm. because he was- How old are you at this time? 16, right. 17, 18, and then I moved to the rooftop because he said, you can't be at the after, after hour spot no more. Mm -hmm. And that was the saddest day of my life, but it was the happiest day because he took me to the roller skating ring while they were paving the grounds and leveling you know, the, 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 the floors. Right. I was like, wow, this is so dope. I skate a little, so I'll be able to you know, get my skills up. He was like, nah, this is not for you to skate. You gotta go upstairs. We put a studio upstairs. So this is all in my film, you know what I'm saying? He put a roller, he put a studio upstairs, he turned his office, him and, him and my, my partner, Gusto, they turned the office into a studio where I worked on Kumo D, Go See the Doctor, and How You Like Me Now, and all of those records. I did Heavy D, he came I up to the it. rooftop. No, no, no. I, I, <laughs> I can hear it all. Yo, that. Yeah. He did all of that stuff in rooftop, and then, we, uh, we had a situation where some guys was trying to uh, extort us. Mm -hmm. And uh, my partner was from the streets. Like, he was, a, he was a, you know, the big homie from the streets, like, like Jay, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and he was very, very influential because he was only, he was one of the many that got out of the streets and went into investing into a roller skating ring and a few stores and all of that stuff. So he was my partner. And, you know, everybody, every, every kid from the inner city always look up to a street, you know, a street hustler as their, you know, their mentor. So he was my mentor. And um, Gusto taught me a lot. But when these cats tried to extort us, they, they tried to extort him. You know, he had to take it back to the streets just to make sure that we were safe. Mm -hmm. And he did that, you know, and we went back to doing rooftop records. And that's how we signed Kumo D to Jive Records. That was your first deal in the music industry? My first deal in the music industry was Kids at Work when I had Jerry Curls. <laughs> okay. we, had, uh, we had Kids at Work when we signed to CBS Records. And that was through Gene, Gene Griffin. And, um, and oh, then okay. my second record deal was with a group called, a band that I was in called Total Climax. So I had two record deals at the same time, but it was no money, you know what I'm saying? Like he made, they made all the money and he was the guy that was supplying the, you know, the, the goods to the guys in the record industry. So that was his relationship. You know, he bought the, the drugs so everybody can have fun. You know, like, like the Nicky Bonds. Right. He was like the young Nicky Bonds that went in, made sure everybody, and that's how we got our record deals from, that was a trade. So, you know, I really lived that life of, you know, the drug world, trading, doing trades, you know, for drugs. You'd get my, my, my son here a record deal. So that's how I got my record deal, you right. know, through, through him doing that. And it helped us, you know. We got somewhere and 
Of course, we couldn't go up against New Edition. It was the same time when they did Candy Girls. Mm -hmm. So that's when Kids at Work came out. But when I was with Total Climax, we got, you know, we got to gig places and, but it wasn't as big as Guy. Mm-hmm. None of that was as big as, I really say yeah. Guy is my real first deal. What the talking about?